We begin with this update. The IMF forecasts Sub-Saharan Africa's economy will grow by 3.6% in 2024 and 4.2% in 2025, though growth remains inconsistent. Meanwhile, in its October update, the IMF now expects South Africa's GDP growth to be 1.1% in 2024 and 1.5% in 2025, slightly up from earlier projections. In addition, the IMF notes that following a series of external shocks, many African countries still face financing difficulties and high poverty levels. IMF African Department Director Abebe Salesi provides further insights on this outlook. Sub-Saharan Africa's economic outlook is slowly improving, thanks in part to difficult reforms which are starting to bear fruit. But the region still faces considerable challenges. Growth will remain subdued in 2024 at 3.6%, with significant variation across the region. Resource-rich countries in particular, notably oil exporters, are struggling to keep up. In 2025, growth is expected to improve modestly to 4.2%. On the more positive front, inflation is back close to the target range in about half the countries in the region, playing off the monetary policy tightening that has been taking place. Efforts to reduce government deficits and manage debt are also paying off in many countries. The debt to GDP ratio and interest burdens remain high but are no longer continuing to rise, and countries are rebuilding their foreign reserves. Despite these improvements, the cost of servicing debt is taking money away from much needed spending programs to address development needs. Many countries still face a funding squeeze and are unable to access markets or borrow from markets at affordable rates. Political and social pressure are complicating the situation even more, High poverty rates, rising cost of living, and the lack of opportunity are fueling social frustrations, making reforms more challenging to implement. To navigate this difficult landscape, policymakers face a tough balancing act. Putting in place reforms to promote growth, further reducing economic imbalances, and doing so while building buy-in and social and political support for reforms. There are some elements that would help foster the acceptability of reforms, including improving governance to rebuild trust and management of public resources, social safety nets to protect the most vulnerable, and carefully designed communication and consultation strategies. It is, of course, also critical that the international community does much more to support countries pursuing the right policies. These reforms often take time to bear fruit, and international solidarity is essential in the interim. For our part, the IMF stands by to strengthen our already deep commitment to supporting the region.